So I'm spending the week in Hilton Head, South Carolina, and there's a theater in a plaza here called Caligny Theater, and I want to see what it's like. It's very small, and I'm intrigued by it. They're playing a movie called At Eternity's Gate, a movie about Vincent Van Gogh, and I'm going to mix doing a review of the movie with a vlog of Hilton Head. So this is Caligny Plaza, and it just seems like an ordinary place to buy some uh, toys and even there's groceries at the Piggly Wiggly supermarket, but around the corner here and hidden deep within this plaza is a theater somewhere. I have to be very quiet because everyone's asleep, but I went to the Caligny Theater, and I saw the movie that they were playing, and they give out free posters. When they're done using the posters, you can just have them. And here, now I have an official, authentic movie poster uh, for At Eternity's Gate. Look at that backwards on that side. I'm trying not to rip it because there's a tear at the top here. Look at that. It's pretty cool. I can't show you the whole thing. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to keep this review of the movie kind of short because, uh, like I said, everyone's asleep and I kind of want to go to bed soon myself. But I will say, um, I did like this movie overall. The biggest problem I had with it was the fact that it looked pretty cheap. Uh, I can tell this movie's at most a million dollar budget at most. Um, there's almost set, set design is non-existent. Almost nothing was built for the purpose of this movie. Uh, there's almost no effects or anything. Like There's no scene of Vincent cutting his ear off. It just cuts and he has it off. And uh, they do have makeup. Uh, you barely ever see it, but they do have makeup of his ear off. Uh, you don't get to see it until after a while, though. Um, and even then, it's like out of focus and in the shadows. Um, but uh, that's not a big deal to me. Uh, I do wish it did more. But um, all, this whole movie was just like shot like on on location for the most part. Um, no. I think they just bought permits to sign where they to they just brought permits to film where they needed to film and uh, didn't build anything unique for the movie aside from rep of uh, a few replicas of his paintings and uh, some clothes that fit the, the time period of course but um this movie looks like it was filmed like you could feel the weight of the camera as you watch this movie like it feels like you, all I could think of was the guy behind the camera shaking it and running with it. And this movie's very shaky, and it's in love with close-ups. Like there's a lot of close-up and close-ups in this movie. Like you can, you can see William Defoe's pores for half the movie. And uh, but despite how amateurish it looks at times, it does look very beautiful most of the time. Um, it, it has been praised, and credit is credit is given where credit is due. Most of the time, it is a very attractive movie, but um, it does look like it was uh, filmed in a hurry, and it just doesn't have that uh, modern cinematic look that you get from Hollywood movies. It just looks kind of um, cheap, but um, the story is very good. It's very interesting to learn about uh, Vincent Van Gogh's thought process and uh, his inspiration behind his paintings, what his paintings mean to him, 
and uh, how his psyche just slowly descends into madness. Um, a lot of the dialogue in this movie is repeated through his head, and you hear him uh, repeating things people have told to him, uh, echoing through his mind as he breaks down, essentially. And it is a very interesting look into his into his brain. The ending is very satisfying, in my opinion. It is kind of uh, out of nowhere ending, but I will say the um, inf- it, it ends with a couple of slides, like actual facts about Vincent Van Gogh, that I thought was really interesting. And this movie talks about, um, and this movie. Uh, tells a story that hasn't been told in any other movie yet because it's about a notebook that Vincent Van Gogh used throughout his career as an artist and it was only recently discovered in 2016 which uh, which means there's not a lot of other movies that touch upon this um, this notebook that Vincent Van Gogh had during his life. All of the acting in the movie is really really good. I didn't notice anyone that was a weaker actor than the other uh, although I will say William Defoe steals the show um, it's kind of weird when um, to think about that because I know William Defoe from Spider-Man and most recently the Aquaman movie he was in it's weird to think that when he's not doing movies like that he's uh, spending his time doing art house movies like this this movie is only six dollars to watch on YouTube and if you have uh, the time or it sounds interesting it, it's pretty good. You could do a lot worse with your time. Pretty satisfied with my experience at Caligny Theater. I'm glad this was the movie that they were showing, and I want to give it a 7 out of 10. Mm-hmm.